that this uh, melody is going into your memory, you know. I set the melody high, just as I said. But I don't like the synthesizer, so I just put another one. For the melody, what about Poison? Yeah. Alright. This will be sound better, just adding an effect. Now I'm just gonna copy and paste the notes and um, put them in one place down. so the melody is strong. After I press STRG on my keyboard and uh, then left mouse click and then you can select one thing and Copy them with STRG C, paste them with STRG and E. Alright, now I gonna continue with the track. But first, I add a reverse and the crash to say, to make it more different, not so monotone, the track to keep the action in track. Shaker, that's good too. But now I choose another instrument for the bass line, you know? Because I just got the melody now and now I want a real bass. I copy the notes because the way of the notes must be the same. <laughs> A bit music theory. And now simply the bass line. Just as I showed you before. Very simple. Put it down because bass low bass line is low always. So here we are bass line and melody. strings in the background just to fill a 
Which will be um, same like the bass line, but just strings and just uh, to fill. So the strings are one tone every time. Here we see just like the bass line or just like the melody the way of the notes. And I'm gonna copy them and put them one, two, three notes each up and each low just to fill more just to get more sound all right now i'm gonna show you yes maybe this is our intro for the track Alright, now I'm gonna show you a very important thing, the peak control. Every time the kick is kicking, the instrument, the volume of the instrument is going down. Okay, of in the channel of the kick, we're gonna set the peak control, we're gonna move this up a bit, and at the channel of the instrument, we click here at the right click there and just type in one intro peak and invert it Now, when the kick is kicking, the volume of the strings are going down, so they are... In the moment when the bass drum is kicking, there is more place for the tune of the kick. We're gonna put this a bit up. This must be one, I guess. And yeah, again, sorry, again, one input and inverted. Peak. Accept. Alright, now let's check. Okay, you see this is gonna be a bit more here this is up so we play a bit there and this goes down when a kick kicks the volume of the strings is going down so I play a bit around just with listening and now let's <clears throat> listen just like what listen 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 just create the automation clip for the volume of the kick for the intro and there I set it down at the beginning and it will be more at the time with the time uh, 
I've just right clicked on the volume button of the kick and then left click on automation click. So here we are. I guess strings on the full track will not be so good, so I just choose another instrument. Take the notes, but here at this instrument it will be better when just one note at one time. And now Let's listen. Sounds good, right? I just went to this instrument and set it on the channel after Just left the kick there at the one place just to make it more action there. I left the kick and then the chorus is coming. Like this. First, the basic drums and then comes with the colors, the hats, just as I said before. Alright, just gonna set the notes of the melody higher more contrast to the bass and to the other notes which are dull and changed a bit the melody so here we are Thank you for watching, hope you learned something.